We got everything we need in rhinestones and diamonds. We're and ready. Diamonds. We're ready for cookies. Let's go. In today's video, I am baking some cookies with my good friend Tabitha. Tabitha, come say hello. Hello. She got all dressed up this for you. This is a baking outfit. <laughs> and if you knew Tab, if you're watching this and you are from my area, then you know this is like par for the course for Tabitha. She wears that to the gym, and then she comes over. <laughs> So every year, it's a tradition, we hang out and we make pizzelles for Easter, many years running. And actually, Tabitha just reminded me that even during COVID, I get it back up. Tab just reminded me that even during COVID, we did this via Zoom chat. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I'm gonna show you the setup. Christmas time, I make biscottis. I make the cranberry pistachio biscotti. And Easter is our anisette pizzelle cookie time. So we're gonna show you our setup, what we do. We have our Irish friend, Marguerite Riley here as well. Come say hi, Mark. This is the woman who made the, makes the Irish Hello. soda bread. This is my Thelma. Remember my Thelma? Did you get? Did you hear me tell you the thing about I the did. Thelma and I Louise, did. the Piper Lou? Yes. 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 She's yep. my girl, and her I son is Thelma. Eddie. Eddie hasn't been in my videos in so long. Eddie makes appearances on my other channel. Um, he's my thrifter in Brooklyn, so he'll be back. I don't know when he'll be back. That makes me but sad because I want to go see him there. Or, the, or I'm, I think he'll stay if you visit him, right. and then you can thrift there. Well, Brooklyn's way cooler than where we live, so okay. yes, it is. <laughs> so I'm just here to observe. Yes. My Italian friend. We don't let the Irish people touch the cookies. They don't. No, I can eat the, They let me dust. Like, the, I do the little yes. confectionary thing. I'm and allowed she's allowed to, to bring the sugar. And I can bring it. sugar. This is, yes. This was her this contribution. This is my contribution. Five pounds of sugar. All right, so Tab and I use the recipe right from the pizzel maker. Uh, Tabitha has the Cuisinart pizzel maker, and I have the Prego pizzel maker. So it's right here. It's this little waffle iron. You open it up, it's very hot. You plug them in. So in the past, we've had three going. So Marguerite is actually, her beautiful daughter, Alana, is bringing over a third machine so that we can do six cookies at a time. So Tabitha's task-oriented, so she's very quick. <laughs> <laughs> that was flour. <laughs> and she cuts, she cracks the eggs one-handed, so she's, She's My very talent. fancy. It's her talent. One really of her cool. many. Okay. One of her many. Okay. We have some notes that we have made through the years. And look at her go. <laughs> look at her go. How many so eggs impressive. do we need? Five. So five eggs, how much flour? Two and a half cups. Two and a half cups, five eggs. Oh, this is oh, this is basically our own. This is we altered this recipe because there wasn't enough anise in it, so we right. made our own. The booklet gives you several different recipes. They give you thin, crispy ones, the Italian pizzelles, the special pizza pizzelles with a tangy orange and rum flavor, Southern Italian style. Those are Mrs. Palatino's. So these are the Tab and Lori pizzelles yeah. that we're making here. It's not found in the book. It's not found <laughs> in the book. Well, we've taken That's those notes. Three yeah. We've taken really good notes. A cup of sugar, and then what? And then a shitload of Annie's. <laughs> and this is what that looks like. <laughs> <laughs> so when we used to do this, we used to, it was like a tablespoon, to spit, to, you know, mix it up, smell it. So for us, it's all about the smell. Yep. And that Annie's has to like. That'll clear your sinuses you. right there. And that's it, right? That's it. Yep. So to review, because she's quick, I told you. Two and a half cups of flour, five eggs, a half a cup of oil, a cup of sugar, a lot of Annie's, AKA the bottle. Oh, wait a second. Two teaspoons of baking powder. Oh, see. We need that too. Okay. And then we mix and then the magic starts. This used to take us so much more time before we perfected our recipe. Yeah, I just kind of just remember it. And I invite Tabitha over because she does most of the work. <laughs> And this time she brought the ingredients too. How and much? today she brought all the ingredients too because I just got home from thrifting. We need two, and, two and teaspoons. And I did not. Two <laughs> Tabitha is not one to go thrifting. However, However I, I have purchased some really nice things for her. Tab has a real strong aesthetic, as you can see. <laughs> black and diamonds, black and rhinestones. You know, that, that's her vibe. So whenever I see certain things, I pick that's it up for her. I can't see it. All right. Are we locked and loaded here? I think so. Yep. Oh, I wish you could smell this mix. It's lovely. This is definitely a very sticky dough. Yeah. 
we usually will spray the pixel maker. Look with at the, that! Yeah, it looks beautiful. It's perfect. So then we come over here. See, I had to label mine, Tata, because in years past, ooh, we have two different designs as well. So we usually spray it just to get started, but then there's enough oil in the mixture that uh, once, once they get going, you really only have to do this once. It's perfect. I mean, I mean, wanna try? Yep. Some of the old school Italians will use the oil instead of the um, extract. And then I can't help you with those measurements. I was gonna say, I would think you would use less oil. Or you can pour some Sambuca in there. No. Hi, Alana. Hello. How are you, honey? Hi, Alana. Mm. You look beautiful. Oh, thanks. Am I making you grilled cheese? I mean, if you want <laughs> to. If you <laughs> But she's like, I mean, I did food. bring you a cookie thing. <laughs> this is Alana. Hello. She's gonna graduate with Rocco. Yes. And we love her so much. Mm. And she brought us another cookie maker. Yay. And I'm gonna make her grilled cheese as a reward. <laughs> Thank you, Alana. All right, see, Tab already got it started. All I have to do is the commentary. Bing! Okay. Um, <laughs> that's, a, that's a cookie outfit? Yeah, isn't that impressive? Wow. Yeah, but Mark, I think that's it. Like, you touch that button, it's done. Now and we're think done. of how long this probably lasts. Yeah. I mean, we'll think do... of how much money you're gonna spend on dunks. So it's maybe a little more than a teaspoon of the batter. Mm -hmm. If you do too much, it, this one it, is smaller, it so it oozes over the sides, and we've made that mistake yeah, many, done that times. many times. So sometimes it's we're better off doing them slightly smaller, and then they expand a ton. And then maybe three or four minutes. Mm -hmm. But we keep checking because sometimes they're thicker than before. Yeah. And what's nice is, you know, we have those smaller ones, which are really crispy. And if you do them a little bit thicker, some people like a little more chew to them. I, that's how I, I don't like it too crispy. Too, like, too, like I like, I like it crispy on the outside, but just like a tiny bit of softness. Like it doesn't, yeah. not like a complete crunch, you know, just like a little. How's your latte? Delicious. <laughs> of course, Alana had to break in the new latte machine. So I'm gonna pick out shoes for prom with mom yep mm -hmm. yep and i am sampling the merchandise mm. it makes like a regular cup of coffee too like you just have like like a regular cup of coffee. rocco does an americano every morning and what's that it's the espresso shot with hot water so it's not like drip coffee it's yeah, still yeah. you know and then the cure i do 12 ounces you know you can do like six eight ten twelve i don't think it's 12. i would say maybe 10. okay and you, you can, can do a double. You, you can do a double. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good. These came out good. They came out really good. They did. I, so I wish I could say the same about Alana's grilled cheese. <laughs> that's what happened when we were making her latte. <laughs> this is Marguerite's job. Mm, look at that. Mm, and they are so good. And then we usually stack them once they're done and we start doing, like we, we match like sizes together because we do like a sleeve. Ow. Right? Oh, they're so good. And then we can sugar up these on the bottom that didn't get it. So we're still working on the first batch. We'll typically do, oh God, three or four batches. Yep. We just keep going until, until we can't go anymore. Want to show you the lemon extract that I use. It's organic frontier lemon alcohol free flavor. Oh my gosh, it's so delicious. Um, this is the first time I've ever purchased this lemon extract, or yeah, I think it's just extract organic sunflower oil in organic lemon oil. So it is oil. That's what I thought. When That's I why it's so it. strong. Yeah, it's yeah. Very strong. Oh, it's so, so good. But um, if I can find a link for this, I'll leave it in the description for you. And then for the for the anise, we just used old school McCormick. And then Tabitha also brought lemon extract. If we do a fourth batch, we'll let you know. Okay, so Marguerite and Alana left, and we have been busy making more cookies. We sent some home with Marg. And then we also have this beautiful stack 
So these are all the Anaset cookies that we'll have for Easter Sunday and a little before. We didn't break any. That's did a problem. Any? No, we didn't. Is did there any in there? In? No, I did not. Empty. That's just empty. Okay. okay. So we're going to do lemon. So we have a little bit of Annie's left, but we're going to try the lemon. <laughs> this is how we roll. <laughs> I mean, it oh, the really lemon dry. smells really good too. I'll keep a separate tray for the lemon ones and we're gonna do one more batch. So we're on our third round and yeah, it's been fantastic. I will definitely leave the recipe in the description for you so you can try this out at home. If you have a special pizzelle recipe, I'd love to hear it. You know I always love it when we share info. And as you can see in this pile, like there are some that are super crispy and then there are some that are a little bit softer. I would say in general, these are more crispy than they are soft. Yeah, and the extra crispy ones is because we were talking. Yes, we got chatty. <laughs> um, I would also say that um, some of it is just a function of how long you cook it. So if you want it a little doughier, a little chewier, you just don't cook it for as long. And I probably should have a time on how long we cook them for, but I just don't. We just no, we sit just here and chat it. and look at them and then we just keep rolling, so. Because the problem is sometimes they're, sometimes they're a little, um, like you might've put like a, a little extra a little dough. Extra dough mm -hmm. So They're all different, you know? Yeah. You never know what you're gonna get, but they're all delicious and they are family favorites here. So we'll just divide it right down the middle and Tabitha will take home half and we'll keep half and um, we'll have a little bit before Easter and then usually I have to put it away in like a sealed container until Easter Sunday because otherwise it will be gone. So we are gonna wrap things up today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you to my baker extraordinaire, Miss Tabitha Masucci. See you next Easter. <laughs> Final project. What do you think? Which one do we have? The lemon came out mm, so good. Delicious. Delicious. We've already cleaned the kitchen and we're going to do a little taste test this for you. This must be lemon. Well, ready? So delicious. So good. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Right. <laughs>